Hey people, so this is my video on how to get mining up and running on Android. Now the method I'm going to show you is going to work on Android versions 2.2 and up till 7. Point, uh, well, whatever really. Uh, it just it will not work on Android 8 or above because of some security settings they're on. There are other methods to getting it working on Android 8, but I believe you have to root your device and I wanted to make a video specifically for non-root devices because I think that is what the majority of people have. Um, yeah. So this device is rooted because I uh, mostly for overclocking, um, but uh, yeah, you can run without that. Anywho. First off, uh, I really suggest you use TeamViewer like I am here. You can download the one called uh, TeamViewer Quick Support. And, um, well, download TeamViewer on your PC. It's pretty straightforward to use, so I'm not going to go through that. Um, with using, I'm using TeamViewer because you have to enter a lot of text to get this up and running, and that is a pain on uh, a touch screen, really. So, you're going to go get GNU root. And even though it has root in the name, it does require root, and it's GNU root Debian. There are other versions of GNU root, but they are well, uh, they are older versions, like literally of the same uh, program. So uh, I'm not sure if this will work on those. Now it'll take a bit to install. First off, we got the 60, me 60 megabyte uh, download, and then it's gonna take some time for the actual. Um, system to get set up after you launch the app. Right, we're done downloading and installing, so let's open up and now it's gonna use, I believe it is a few minutes on uh, installing itself, uh, setting up the, the, the Linux system. Uh, GNU root is, uh, well, basically uh, Linux within Android. Android itself is running on top of Linux and this kinda lets us access that. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna let that install. All right, we're in. Uh, yeah, we're in our system. Now, like with the Raspberry setup, I'm gonna do app get update and then app get upgrade to get the, the packages of the base system uh, updated before we start uh, installing our dependencies. And now apt get upgrade. Why for yes? Alright, now we're gonna set up some dependencies for our dependencies. So we're gonna do apt install git gcc g++ autogen and nano. And again, y for yes. All right, now we have to get the actual dependencies for uh, building the miner. So we're gonna do apt dash get install build essentials dash essentials uh, build essential sorry uh, auto make make auto conf p kt config lip curl for dash open ssl dash stuff lip jansen dash stuff lip ssl dash stuff lip gmp dash stuff set lip 1g dash stuff 
And yeah, I think that's about right. Oh, see, yeah, that's the thing. If you type one thing wrong, nothing works. But at least it tells you before you really mess up. There we go. Y for yes. Alright, next up we are going to get the um, Fireworms very minor source code like with the raspberries. We are going to do git clone https colon forward dash forward dash github.com forward dash fireworm 71 forward dash virium minor with a capital M for the minor. And we're going to give it a little bit to download. Alright, now we're going to go into the folder by pressing CD space varium minor. Next up we're going to type dot forward dash auto gen dot sh. Let it do its thing. And then we're typing dot forward dash configure c flex equal dash dash with crypto and dash dash with curl and then we type make Finally, we're going to do dot forward dash build dot sh. Alright, now we have a miner. I'm just going to type ls to see the content of the folder. And we got a file called cpu miner. I'm going to type chmod plus x cpu miner. And yeah, that's just to make it executable, or to make sure it is. Right, now I am going to do uh, the script as I did with the Raspberry. So I'm going to do nano um, mine.sh. And yeah, so we do dot forward dash cpu miner dash o stratum plus tcp colon forward dash forward dash and then you input the link to your uh, mining pool I'm going to use the same one as with raspberry so the nerd3d one so vim dot n3rd 3d dot com colon 3332 then dash u then my mining pool uh, username so yt crypt demon dot uh, the worker name which is yt demo worker and then we're gonna do dash p and then the password for the worker then we'll press ctrl o and enter to save ctrl x to get out of the text editor now we do chmod plus x mine that sh or whatever the name of your script is now I should be able to do dot forward dash mine dot sh and the miner should start up. Uh, let's just see if we compiled it right. There's a bunch of way to um, make the miner um, in regards to CPU architecture. Now since we're running ARM it should work as it is but one may have to change the flags set with the, the dot configure command earlier um, yeah I'm gonna post a link to to the info about that well uh, it may get a bit technical for people who are not used to Linux so yeah but this uh, it should work as it is but let's just see the first um, hash rate is uh, at least at my experience uh, well faulty uh, it's wrong 
So the second or third hash rate you get from the miner should be uh, your normal hash rate, so to speak. And in our case, uh, with an overclocked uh, Galaxy S5, as I have here, it should get to about 210, 220 hash per minute. Um, so, yeah. Now, again, this should work with practically all Android phones, uh, version 2.2 .2 and above, until 8. It will not work in version 8. Oh, we get 240. That's new. Um, and in regards to heat, uh, I it's not been a problem for me, but then again, I have the phone laying near the fan for my Raspberry Miner, so active some uh, airflow may be required, although it doesn't get burning hot, it's still something. And also, um, yeah, depending on the phone, I mean, different phones will have uh, different... Oh, we're disconnected. Uh, yeah, in any case, different phones will have different thermal characteristics. Uh, mine is actually overheating right now. I haven't run it really without cooling, so apparently that is required. Um, yeah, also, obviously, kind of obviously, you want to run it with the power plug in. You want it charging. You, uh, if it's running off battery, it's going to burn out the battery pretty quickly. I think the phone is actually overheating. Uh, we can actually check that pretty quickly. Let's just see here. Um, thermal. Yeah, we're running at 70 degrees, so um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely thermal throttling. Uh, the way it's running at exactly 70, I think it starts throttling at 70. Uh, so yeah, active cooling is a thing. Also, uh, I've read that some may have the phone actually crashing due to lack of memory. Um, when you start the miner, you can fix that by doing a little change to the script. So I'm gonna press Ctrl C to exit the script. I'm gonna edit the script again. Now we can do dash T and then type in the number of CPU cores we want running. So for example, um, and obviously this is gonna lower your hash rate, but if it keeps your miner from crashing, well, it may be uh, necessary. So for example, if I type in 2 here, Control o to save, Control x to exit, and then run the miner again. It should start up with two mining threads instead of four as before. One more thing, uh, some phones may throttle down when you uh, the screen goes dark, you can fix this by going into your settings. So apps and settings. This is Danish. I apologize for that. Uh, but just look at icons. Now we go down into about the bottom, and we got developer mode. And there is, uh, I believe it's called stay awake in English. Uh, basically, when the phone is charging, it will keep the monitor the screen on at all times so it won't go black and uh, put stuff into low power mode. Anyhow, I'm a bit disappointed in the hash rate because of the temperatures, but as I said, I usually have uh, the phone set up with uh, active cooling. So, there is that. Um, but yeah, I think that is about all. If you have any uh, questions, about uh, my, my setup here, I'm not sure I was uh, how mm, well I was at the explanation. But yeah, if you have any questions, uh, well, regarding the contents of this video, um, feel free to ask in the comments below, and I'll be happy to uh, answer them. So uh, that's it for this time. Thank you for watching, and see ya.